Marty is the world's first and only autonomous electric drifting DeLorean. The way we see it, if you're going to build an autonomous electric drift car, why not do it in some style? We're trying to develop automated vehicles that can handle a broad range of conditions to be able to handle emergency maneuvers, to be able to handle low friction surfaces like ice or snow or wet and slippery roads. Driving is typically very easy. You use the steering wheel to point the car where you want it to go and you adjust the throttle to set your speed. You don't have to worry about the angle of the car because it's small and it's inherently stable. Uh, that basically means the car is always pointed where you want it to go. When you're drifting, however, this goes out the window. The car is pointed in a very different direction than where it's going. And suddenly your steering wheel controls the speed and your throttle affects the rotation. So the best human drivers have learned to handle these unstable conditions extremely well. And they can actually put the vehicle sideways while still managing to maneuver it exactly the way they want in the environment. So we wanted to look at that and figure out what are the human drivers doing and how can we turn that into algorithms on the car that will allow an automated vehicle to use those same sorts of maneuvers in an emergency situation. That's a really hard transition. Those are hard to do. That's where robotics may, may do a better job than us drivers. Darn it, I'm gonna lose my job here. <laughs> The repeatability of the car that you guys are able to program into it, as well as the drivetrain. I mean, I think there's more than just the programming there that's an accomplishment. It's also the, the, the powertrain in the car as well. Marty is a 1981 DeLorean. Marty stands for our Multiple Actuator Research Testbed for Yaw Control. Now, the DeLorean was never really built to be a performance car of any sort. We pulled out the gas engine and put in a very powerful electric drivetrain. We had to rework the entire suspension. We also installed a roll cage to make it safer and of course had to add all the computers and stable wire systems to get it to be autonomous as well. The Marty Kana track is about a kilometer in length and it's designed to showcase a number of things that are really very difficult. So the ability for Marty to come from uh, an oval at a very large radius where we can go very fast and jump down to a small radius where we need to move very slowly. Uh, the Marty Kana path also highlights some of these very quick changes in rotation where the vehicle is rotating to the left and then immediately needs to jump around and rotate basically as fast as it can to the right. What I just saw in the video really makes me look forward to what the future you know, holds, not just with drifting in general, but with the accident mitigation, and you know, some of the safety that we see on production vehicles today in the modern world. Right now, Marty uses the same inputs that a human driver does. So it can control the steering wheel, and it can control the throttle pedal. But an automated vehicle doesn't have to be that restricted. It might be able to brake each wheel independently, or even apply torque to each wheel independently. And we're really excited to see how this can enable automated vehicles of the future to even exceed expert drivers. Without a doubt, Marty was the coolest thing that we could think about doing. It was exciting to see if we could make the modifications to the car, if we could get this to work. And yet at the same time, it was even more exciting to learn from this all sorts of things that we think can go into production quite easily and make safer cars. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.